everybody so welcome to a new vlog it's been a little while since i vlogged actually so i'm quite looking forward to vlogging this week it's going to be exciting it's all go i've got three days of tutorials for my upcoming sa3 exam the exam is in exactly one month's time did a past paper last night it was really hard so i'm hoping the tutorials help with it the tutorials as many of you may already know are groups of students about 10 of us normally who are all taking the same subject with a tutor from the actuarial education company and they run through the course content you do practice questions you discuss the course and hopefully it all clicks into place please because i'm feeling quite worried about this exam and then thursday friday stress i'm starting a new job well not exactly a new job a secondment but for all intents and purposes it's a new job it's a new company new rules new work it's going in the deep end it's work that i've not done loads of before i have done some of the work before like i'm familiar with the subject matter i've been working in gi for three and a half years my bosses think i'm capable the company i'm being seconded to think i'm capable and liked my profile so yeah they said yes please we'd like to proceed with page on secondment so three days a week for the next little while i'll be working for this other company my tutorials are in person so i'm staying with my auntie because i just couldn't be bothered to do the commute from cambridge to london i'm in my car because <laughs> i've just driven to my auntie's local station and and then I'm gonna hop on a train and get in. Apparently it's only half an hour. Half an hour train, imagine that. Life is good. And then I'm trying out London buses this morning. I've jotted down the number of buses that I want. I know where the bus stop is and I feel like that's all I need. So come along with me on this journey to my tutorial. Hopefully we're gonna meet some nice new people at my tutorial who I can stress about exams with, but we're not gonna stress. We're not gonna stress because this week is gonna be zen and calm and good. Look at that blue sky. I've gone coatless today sun is shining spring has sprung and i'm loving it <laughs> okay i am at london waterloo we've made it to central london just bought myself a water because i forgot my water bottle this morning and now i'm trying to find a sign for the buses because i don't know which direction to go to for the bus stop and I've got half an hour until my tutorial starts. You would think they would have a sign. Cycle parking, taxis, not buses. I'm going to go out the exit that I know and then maybe walk around the outside. Surely it's going to become obvious. Bingo. I am heading for BPP Holborn, the BPP Law School, and I have found a sign for buses heading that way. Stop today. Big day. Bus successfully navigated. I am feeling a little bit let down by the weather forecast because it is spitting with rain right now and I don't have a coat. The blue sky is gone, but we move. just on my lunch break and I'm heading to pret a across the road to grab a sandwich and then I'm actually going to go back and open my laptop because I'm doing this professionalism course this week as well. It's the one that I was complaining about in my recent video that I need to do to get my associate qualification and uh, yeah it's unfortunately fallen on the same week as these tutorials so I need to get onto the discussion forum in lunchtime. I rather awkwardly just ignored my tutor in the queue behind me at prep. Unintentionally, I wasn't sure if they were talking to me and then I recognised him after I bought my sandwich. All done, heading off to find another bus. I think I'm going to miss my train by like one minute, which is really annoying, but... Ground floor. waiting at the bus stop for half an hour 
for a bus that's supposed to come every 6 to 12 minutes. And I'm debating just leaving and going to another bus stop, but I feel like as soon as I leave, the bus will come. And so I'm just standing here, hoping and praying it comes. So I want to get home. <laughs> I've given up. I'm changing bus stop. <laughs> Google and these bus timetables are lying. It's all fake news. They don't come every six minutes. I now didn't get all my trains, so it's so packed and people weren't moving down the aisles. I'm really not having a lot of luck, so I think I'm going to wait for the next train and get on that one early. So the commute does keep getting worse in that I missed my stop. So I am now at the station I didn't want to be at, but my car is not parked and I've had to ring my auntie who's going to come save me. But yeah, all in all, it's been a very unsuccessful commute on this first day. My auntie has saved me! Yeah! Everyone comment below. Thanks, AK, you're a legend. I am now almost, almost finished with my commute. We now need to go back and collect my car from the original station so I can then drive it back to my auntie's house and then see my parents. My parents are at my auntie's house because they're dropping off Buster because it's not just me that's booked into my auntie's hotel this week. It's me and Buster the Border Terrier because my parents are going on holiday. Maybe I'll put a positive spin on it and I've learned from this commute, you know? I've learned that I should walk rather than wait for buses. I've learned I need to pay more attention when station stops are being announced. But to be fair to me, when the doors were open, they said my stop was the next station, not this is the station, you know? So the announcements were very misleading. The announcements were delayed. There was no clear sign to say the station name from outside where I was looking. And I was 99% sure I was at the stop before, so I didn't get off and it was a mistake. It was a big mistake. But that's it. That's enough venting about my travel issues. I promise I will vent no more. I'm just hungry and tired. Here's my mother and dinner is being prepared. My parents and my auntie having pizza and I'm having leftovers from our amazing cooking last night. Here's my dad. Hello. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Are you looking forward to going on holiday? I am. Buster! everyone it's a new day i am manifesting a better day of travel for me today i am back again parked at the station that i'm hopefully going to get back to today going to show you something funny my phone holder in my car which i have my sat nav on broke off my windscreen last week so i've had to do a diy fix job with sellotape so it is hanging on a dear life <laughs> We've adapted, we've improvised, we've overcome. I have ordered a new one on Amazon Prime, so I've seen it as an urgent situation that I've had to fix. It is being fixed, no one worry. And yeah, gonna head off to day two of my tutorial. It's my first ever block tutorial this week, which means the tutorial days are back-to-back -back consecutive days. The tutorials I've done in the past have been regular or series tutorials, maybe they're called, where you have like one or two week gaps between tutorial days. So this is quite intense. It's like an intense course all in one go but we've left it quite late guys it's quite close to the exam now this is quite late to be doing tutorials i feel like i'm in a tutorial with all of my fellow crammers who leave their studying until the last minute but to be fair to me i didn't realize i was going to be taking this exam until december i thought i'd failed the last set and didn't think i'd be sitting this exam this sitting so that is why i've had a bit of a delay i've got five minutes till my train so i'm gonna head off into london let's go tutorial day two let's do some accounts today and some other fun insurance stuff it's pretty windy and i've got a dog on so i don't want to miss the train and i'm parked quite far down the car park today you can tell it's a tuesday more people are commuting in everyone works from home on mondays but goes in on tuesdays almost there ready for another day. It's actually quite nice seeing lots of people at a similar stage to me in the tutorials. Everyone's kind of mid-twenties or even late-twenties and still in a classroom. It feels like we're back at school but adult edition. <laughs> Thank you. 
That is day two complete. Got on a bus straight away today. What do you know? Went to a different bus stop. It was a good call. We covered insurance company accounts, reinsurance to close transactions, pricing large commercial risks, which is obviously quite different to pricing small personal lines risks. It's all just quite technical. The expectation is quite high for SA3. I think the Institute see it as their final test of whether you are competent enough to be a qualified actuary. It normally is the last exam that people pass and I think their thinking is if you don't know enough to pass SA3 then you are unworthy of being a qualified actuary. <laughs> so yeah, I am slightly worried the train is going to be packed today just because it was packed on the Monday and I couldn't even get on it yesterday. So. Yeah, imagine what Tuesday is going to be like. Just got in my car. You're currently balanced on my dashboard, which is why you are at a slight angle. I'm so tired. I'm so, so tired. But at least I got off at the right station today. And I'm just going to chill this evening. I'm going to watch some Celebrity Big Brother some trash reality tv these tutorial days honestly tire me out more than a day of work just because you have to be so focused and actively participating <laughs> throughout the day it's good because i feel like i've definitely earned my evening off now and i can relax guilt free knowing that i've put in a good shift today so these are my notes from the tutorials so far i've decided to type them up this time because normally I hand write them and then end up typing them up anyway. And it's just a two step long process that we don't have time for when the exam is only one month away. And to be honest, most people have turned up to the tutorial with their laptops now. I've got 4,911 words and a whole lot of listening and chatting goes on in these tutorials as well. And basically we cover everything in the course in the SA3 course. But the trouble with SA3 exam papers is that the questions in the paper don't always assess stuff that's in the SA3 core reading. They could assess stuff that's in the core reading for SP7 or SP8, which are other general insurance specialist exams that in theory I have also studied for, but just the whole big wide scope of what they could ask questions on, really anything that falls under general insurance it's fair game. It's entirely possible that they ask questions on hot topics that aren't necessarily covered in much detail in the core reading. Current hot topics include things like climate change, ESG, also cyber risk, insure tech, AI, machine learning and insurance. Also, I've been doing the stage two online professionalism course, as mentioned. For this, I'm basically having deadlines throughout the week to do a minimum number of posts on each form. Forum. We discuss a different case study on each forum relating to actuaries and ethics and the profession and what we might do in certain situations we might find ourselves in at work. The forums are racking up quite a lot of posts, but that's because we've been having an ongoing discussion about these case studies. Case study one and two are now pretty much wrapped up. I think the deadline for commenting on them is literally end of today. And then the next two days we're moving on to discuss case study three and case study four. And I'd say it's not been huge, huge amounts of work like it's definitely doable alongside tutorials or alongside your day-to-day -day work anyway that was a bit of a ramble but maybe enlightens you a little bit more to what i've been doing i am back at waterloo got my speed walk on because i'm cutting it a little bit finer than i normally do missed the usual train got one 10 minutes later that one was slightly delayed but we'll see i have been early past couple of days so i think i might just have the last choice of seats i've realized though this is my last ever tutorial day for actuarial exams no matter what happens even if i fail this exam i won't redo tutorials and i've done the tutorials for all the subjects i have left to pass now so this is it end of an era i'm quite sad i've quite enjoyed these tutorials i'm gonna miss the, the coffee and the biscuits Let's go. And 
just like that, I am done with tutorials. It was a nice day today, didn't vlog much, so I went and got lunch with some of the other people that I was on the tutorial with, which was nice. I think I managed to speak to every single person on the tutorial over the course of a few days. Thanks very much to the tutor, gave us all the tips, predictions on what's going to come up. Now I'm going to try and get the bus back and then stress out the seat because I'm starting my secondment tomorrow. Or I did get a nice email basically saying they're looking forward to welcoming me. So yeah, on to the next leg of the week. Hello, I am seeing my journey home rather like a triathlon at the moment. First we have the bus leg, then we have the train leg, and finally we have the driving leg. <laughs> it was chaos on my train just now. Didn't get out my camera to film because I felt it might anger people to be honest because everyone was packed like sardines, no one was having a good time. Anyway, let's drive home, get on with my professionalism course. I'm due to put a few more comments on the discussion forums now that case studies three and four have been released. And I just need to like get my head in gear for some comments more. I want to read over a few things just to remind myself of the client, of the background, of the work I'm going to be doing just so that I'm going in fully prepared and I don't make myself look like an idiot because that would be just a bit upsetting, wouldn't it? I need to plan my outfit as well. <laughs> let's go. Mm -hmm. 